Greetings, dear friends. Happy Monday to you. Here we are with our usual Monday check-in for our Mindful Motivation for Mindset Mastery. And here we are also in the first week of December. First week of December, the last year of 2023. So welcome, welcome. I trust that you are taking some time for yourself to reflect upon the passing year. You know, this idea of mindful motivation for mindset mastery. I really like to help you get into rhythm or get into touch with what is your best way forward? What is your rhythm and what is the things that serve you and what are the things that don't serve you as we all move forward in our own best way? So in order to do part of that, it I like to just sort of feel into what's happening with the phases of the moon. And you probably know that if you've been with me on these sessions before. Today, this week's um, effect for the for the lunar phases is from the last quarter phase of the moon, which arrives tomorrow, and it's in the sign of Virgo. I really like that the aligning with that energy because Virgo being an earth sign is encouraging us to get grounded, but also being very practical. Being practical as far as assessing that which is for us to deal with, what we can do, and also a really big little tap on our shoulder to release those things that we cannot. You know, sometimes we can get caught in, in shoulds or have tos, or we can, can get into forcing things to happen because we are you know, we're, we're, we've kind of ascribed ourselves to something that doesn't suit us anymore, that's not in alignment with our calling or with our purpose, with what is correct, what is in alignment with our heart. So that is the really big piece around this. And I mentioned in our last session about the whole idea that I really encourage people to kind of embrace and get into releasing the passing year and and inviting in the energy of the new year. That's a very big piece that we can all, you know, do in, in whatever way is right for you. So in the comments below, I will put the link for the handout that I actually redo this every year. And I invite you to have a look at it, check it out and take the pieces that align with your practical nature. It's about making declarations for what you wish to, to feel, create, be, align with, getting in touch with what's true for you and putting down those aspects that aren't. But also looking at how do you speak about yourself? How do you speak to and about yourself? There's a really big piece around all this mindset mastery too. Are you being kind? Do you speak to yourself as though you are somebody that you care about. So this is another big piece too. When we talk about letting go, and I'm going to just start shuffling. I use four decks of cards when I do these sessions with you. I'm just going to shuffle the letting go card because feeling into that energy of this last quarter phase of the, the moon in Virgo, it, it is a very powerful part to maybe just pause, find the best rhythm for you. That's This is very much December energy is to find what's right for you. Find the balance, the pace, the ease that's correct for you. But as we do that, there may be forms of discombobulation or stickiness or things that aren't serving you. Things that are best to be left behind as you start to create the steps or the practical steps moving forward for your best creation, your best experience. So just take a nice deep breath. Let's see what we can focus on letting go of as we put these plans and ideas into place. And this is perfect. The card that's come up for us is judgmental thoughts. So you know I said about letting go of that which is not for you to deal with, or letting go of those things that are maybe not for you to change and focus upon those things that you can change and do. So judgmental thoughts will sometimes be coming up and saying, well, 
you know, I know, I know for myself that I can have kind of like a narration. The judgmental thoughts can be this kind of narration going on. Well, can you start looking at letting that go and saying, I'm just going to drop into the wisdom of my heart and feel into what's the best choice, what's the best step. And so this is a piece that I would really encourage you to do is to write down your practical ideas, your your aspirations, your goals, your intentions move, for moving forward. And then maybe go and do a wee bit of a grounding exercise. Go outside, go watch the snow or nature just to help calibrate that inner wisdom and then come back and review what it is you've written down. And is there a sense of yes in what you've written down? And if there's not, then maybe there's part of the judgmental thoughts that are kind of creating the, oh, well, I better put this down kind of energy. So see how that works out for you. And let me know if I ever bring anything up in these sessions that trigger you or that you need some more support or guidance, put it in the comments below or message me directly. Because my intention is to inspire you to really listen to your inner guidance, to get the guidance and the wisdom and the the solutions that are, you have within you. That's what Mindset Mastery is all about. So you probably noticed that I'm shuffling my tarot cards. So let's see what tarot wisdom comes up to help us with this practical week ahead. Practical of letting things go. And this is excellent. So we're, we are being guided to release judgmental thoughts. And the Two of Swords, I love that. Two of Swords is basically the, is inviting us to be mindful of the thoughts to release any kind of stuckness. And as we release stuckness, swords are always to do with thinking processes and getting maybe getting a bit too stuck in our head, trying to, oh my gosh, I have, I have to resolve this and I have to resolve this so I don't move forward because I'm kind of feeling stuck or into these judgmental thoughts. When we can let that go, we actually then completely open up to the guidance of our heart. So I've said this to you before, one of my favorite questions, and I, and I really, if you've watched this before and, and heard me talking about this, I really trust that you start bringing this question in. How do I feel about myself here? It's one of my favorite questions. How do I feel about myself here? And when I'm saying that, it's here being thinking these thoughts, being in this, this place, um, being with these people, being with these ideas, being with these intentions. How do I feel about myself? And what we want to be looking for are, I feel confident, I feel aligned, I feel purposeful, I feel good, I feel energized, I feel excited. Whereas if I feel weighted down or caught or stuck or anything that feels like a no or heaviness or weighted down or those shoulds, then it needs to be unpacked and maybe reframed or let go of. So it's a really beautiful question to allow you to open up to your own inner guidance. How do I feel about myself here? I'd love for you to let me know how that feels as you start integrating that into your own reflection, introspection. So now as I was saying that, this is excellent, so here I was was kind of feeling into that, how do I feel about myself? The perfect question to be asking. I just pulled the three cards for our Healing with the Angels cards and the first one is listening. I love that card. Listening. Are you listening to your inner guidance? Are you listening to the guidance of your heart? Are you listening to the universe's gentle nudges and taps and beautiful ideas that are there for you. We just need to listen. And could this be a new beginning for you to step into this new year auspiciously aligned with that which is right for you, that which is in, in complete alignment with your soul's purpose, with your calling. And when we do these energetics, we then start to find that our answered prayers start to, to evolve and they start to show up. You know, 
I've said this to you before. That which you are looking for is also looking for you. So sometimes when we get really stuck into that sort of two of swords energy of, oh, I have to figure things out. I have to be logical and I have to come to the solution by myself, by my own thinking processes. We can maybe start, we, we, we kind of get into the, the energy where we're losing or, or missing the connection that we are spiritual beings, we are energetic beings. And as soon as we ask a question, whether it's out loud, speaking it out, or we start looking for something, I need a, I need a, a tap on my shoulder, I need some piece of guidance, or I need some support, or, or just indication that this is the right choice for me. As soon as we do something like that, the answer is there. It's like the, the universe says, you know, I, I wonder if I should do this, and the, and the universe will say yes. Or the universe might say no, but then we need to take a pause. And that's why I keep saying, find your rhythm. Do you take stock? Do you take a wee pause when you ask a question? Do you take a pause and go, okay, to allow yourself to see or to receive the guidance, the, the truth, the, the peace that you're looking for. So, and then sometimes too, you know, when you ask a question and if you can't see the answer or receive the guidance right away, maybe it's because it's not your time. Maybe it's not in alignment and then give it a little bit of time later that day or next week or something and you'll get your answer. But it's about having that relationship, you with your higher self, you with your your heart energy. I like to think of the, the tri trinity of you, your head, your heart and your higher self. You need to be accessing all three of those in order to make those choices and make those decisions and, and feel in alignment with what you are intending. So I'm about to draw one of our Liberate Your Inner Truth cards. So just take a nice deep breath. That's what this is all about, is helping you liberate your inner truth and use it as you're navigating your GPS, your piece forward. And this is excellent. This is wrapping us up beautifully with this one. It's I'm intentional. So isn't that perfect? That's perfectly aligned with everything that we've just come up with for this week, this first, our last quarter phase of the moon in Virgo as we release those things which aren't in alignment with who we're becoming moving forward into the, the new year. And like I said, have a look at the handout that I'm going to put the link for in the, the comments below. So I am intentional says, everything I do is with a clear purpose and focus. My intentions are aligned with wh what I wish to create. And that is my deepest wish for you through this week. You've got this week to, to, to really put that into place for your for yourself. Like I said, if you need any more resources or support or guidance in, in any of this, these ideas that came up, let me know. Put it in the comments below or message me directly. I wish you a beautiful week ahead. I will be back again with you next week. Much love to you.